Alright guys, today's breakfast didn't come out very well. It's uh, 30 grams of oats with one banana, some cinnamon sweetener, and a cup of milk. Normally I don't put milk, I use water, but I put milk and it was way too much. <laughs> so it's like soup. Alright, so today I was doing my heavy legs and abs day, obviously using eight, around 80% of the weight that I normally do. Uh, because I haven't been doing squats lately because of the pain I have in my back and hips and also my right knee um, I, I wanted to give it a go because I, I was feeling okay at the start But then as I was warming up, I felt the pain in my knee uh, come back again I'm not sure what causes it um, Because I'm pretty sure that my form is, is pretty good and I've experienced this in the past. It just comes and goes. It's so weird that like, I used to squat uh, and the pain would come and then the next time I squat it wouldn't be there at all. Uh, I, I do have a feeling that sometimes I push my knees out too much at the bottom and then on the way up I try and keep them out and the pain comes when I try and do that whereas if I don't think about it too much and I just let my knees um, stay in line with my toes then it, it doesn't happen so it's something that I need to fix and uh, so you saw that in the first set I was using 120 kilos and I just did I think 5 reps, 4 or 5 reps and then um, obviously I'm not trying to get to failure. The, the weight didn't feel heavy so much, it was more I was just focusing on uh, trying not to make my knees worse. Like I, I had to avoid the pain kind of thing, Like it was hurting the whole time and as I was coming up it hurt so I was trying to keep my technique in a way that um, it wouldn't hurt anymore so I was just trying to keep it under control and here I'm doing some pause reps with 100 kilos uh, yeah just for some extra reps uh, here I'm doing deadlifts with 120 kilos doing for 5 reps oh yeah the squats I did I think I did the uh, 4 sets but I didn't want to put all the sets in because it will get pretty boring same with the deadlifts, I did two sets of these, um, 120 for 5 reps. This feels a lot easier than the squats because obviously there's less range of motion at the knee. And then for calves, I just did some uh, calf presses on the leg press machine. These these things will never grow, uh, no matter how hard I try I think. I, I, I've been working them a lot this time around and uh, <laughs> they're still tiny. So for abs, I did the decline revert, incline reverse crunches uh, with an 8 kilo dumbbell in between my feet instead of a 12 kilo dumbbell that I normally use. Uh, normally I go for 15 reps, but here I think I did a 12. Followed by the exercise ball crunch. Normally I use 16 kilo kettlebell, but I use the 12 kilo today. And normally I go for 15 reps, I think I went for 12 again. These are really painful. Um, especially at this point in my contest prep, I, it felt like it was on fire, my abs. And then after that, the Russian twist, again using the 12 kilogram kettlebell instead of a 16 kilogram one. Uh, this felt a bit harder today, um, probably because I'm hungry. And then finishing off with a lot of cardio again, watching MasterChef. Got my cheesy oats and a fried egg. This time I put salt, pepper, and a bit of chili. No onions this time. So today is Wednesday the 7th of October and we are just about to head to the gym where I'm going to do my last proper workout, uh, chest and arms, heavy chest and arms but still using only 80% or around 80% of the weights that I normally do, uh, staying away from failure. Alright guys, you're going to notice that the video quality has probably dropped quite a lot. And uh, the reason for that is I was on my way to the gym earlier on today and it was pissing down with rain, uh, like it's been doing quite a lot these days. But it must have been pissing down with rain a lot more 
because uh, when we got to the gym, I checked in my bag and everything in there was wet, including my camera. Uh, and when I went to turn it on, the screen wasn't working, so yeah, my camera's not working. Um, so I couldn't train when I arrived at the gym because I wanted to go to the Canon Service Repair Centre um, and try and get it fixed straight away. I was told by a camera shop in the same building as the gym that they could fix it in an hour or so. So I went there and um, they said that they won't be able to fix it today, but they will try and check today and let me know tomorrow if they can fix it or not. So I won't be able to film any of my workout footage, but I still want to put a video out just to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I could, I might try actually to film my workout using my phone, but obviously the quality of the, the footage won't be anywhere near as good. So because uh, I couldn't train when I wanted to, and I already had my pre-workout meal and my coffee, I bought a pack of these Quest protein chips, which is 21 grams of protein, 5 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, so it's not bad. I just wanted something to eat before I train, because it's been a couple of hours since I arrived uh, and had to leave again. And I'm having a big cup of instant coffee. It's disgusting. So I decided to film my workout using my phone and the quality came out alright. It was just difficult to uh, position the phone in a way that I could film all of my exercises. So here I'm doing the bench press with 110 kilos. Um, I just thought I'd do a bit of pause, have a little bit of a pause at the bottom. And uh, I did four to six reps, five, four sets. Followed by my the barbell incline bench press. Here I'm using 80 kilos. I think I've got six reps again. Uh, four sets. So this workout is basically my normal um, heavy chest and arms workout, if you've seen my previous videos. I couldn't film all of it though because of obviously filming with my phone there isn't many places I can put it where you can see what I was doing. It was a little bit awkward to film as well. Uh, the next, the first bicep exercise after the barbell incline bench press I did with the dumbbell bicep curls with 20 kilos. Normally I go for 15 reps with 24 kilos but um, no, normally I go for 12 reps with 24 kilos. I think I went for 12 reps with uh, 20 kilos. And um, yeah, trying not to go all out, just working the muscle. And uh, at the end of the workout, I the, the gym was quite busy at this point because it was later than when I normally train, so I had to find a place where I could do some posing. And the lighting was a bit weird here. The gym was quite busy, so I felt a little bit awkward posing shirtless with a lot of people around. Uh, so yeah, this is some basic posing. I'm, I'm not. This isn't my routine or anything. I'm just wanted to show you guys a few of the normal mandatory poses that I'll be doing, and uh, what my condition looks like at the moment. Still looking a bit watery, but I'm confident that I will be able to lose quite a lot of that uh, coming into the shows. So tomorrow is Thursday, and that puts me at one day out from the competition. Things I still need to do are full body shaving. I have to shave all the hair off my body. So arms, legs, chest, back, everywhere, <laughs> abs. And then the tan will go on tomorrow night. So Thursday night, the night before the show. What I normally do is uh, have Lotta put on maybe two or three coats the night before after having a shower and then I just sleep in it. So uh, I have like a black coloured tracksuit which I wear, it's full length so it covers all my legs and all my arms and then I just sleep in that and then I don't rinse it off on the day of a competition. I find that it really adds a lot of colour doing it like that so I'll be doing that again tomorrow night. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video, uh, sorry about the quality, I'm going to try my best to make sure that I can film in HD and with all the good content and everything. Uh, if you liked it, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm only one day out, so um, there should be a lot of good footage coming up soon. But until next time, later.